welcome back to another video in my Git Rebase series. In this video I want to show you a scenario that you might have encountered a couple times and maybe or maybe not you knew how to resolve it. So imagine the following situation. You need to work on your feature which is on the branch feature but you desperately need the work of a coworker who has a feature who also is working on a feature branch that is not done yet. As you can see, both branches or the work of your coworker is based off of master, but master has moved forward with commits H and I. And we based our work on top of our coworkers work, the feature base. So as you can see, as master has moved ahead, a reasonable thing to do for your coworker would be to rebase their work onto master to get the latest changes. And while doing so, they might encounter a couple conflicts. So let's see if we rebase and use everything that is on master as the correct version. And let's rebase on top of master. We can now see that our coworker's work is successfully rebased on master. But as you can see, our branch still has commits A, B, and C because why, where, where would they go? So what we want to do now is we want to now work or rebase our feature or our work on top of the newly made feature base. Or we can even assume that the feature base has merged into master and we want to base it there. However, as there might have been conflicts, commit A, B, and C might be different from commit A, B, and C that we have down here. So the only thing we want to do, because we do not want to resolve the same conflicts or run into conflicts, we want to only rebase commits X, Y, and Z on top of the new base. And we can do that easily using an interactive rebase again. So let's go with, or let's first check out our feature branch. And let's start an interactive rebase and base our work on the feature base. What we can see here, we are greeted with this menu again and we can read this message. It says, if you remove a line here, that commit will be lost. We already know A, B and C should already be integrated on the feature base because that's the branch they came from. We are only interested in X, Y and Z, so we can simply delete the commits A, B, and C, the lines from this file, write it, and here we go. We are now in the perfect situation again. Feature base has the changes of master, and we have all the changes of master and feature base. Being in the same situation as before, namely master having moved ahead, our feature branch or our feature base branch wanting to update, and our feature branch sitting on top of the feature base, we can achieve the same result without using interactive rebase and rather use the onto argument. So let me quickly perform that for you. Again, our feature base wants to be rebased onto master. So again, we take master's changes and rebase onto master. Now let's switch to our feature branch. Here, we again, we want to rebase our feature branch on top of the base, but drop commits A, B and C. So there is a handy form with rebase onto. So first we specify the new base. In this case it would be feature base. And now we specify the old base, which in this case was this commit C. This is where feature base used to be and it is the base what we based our feature branch off of. So here we go. Lastly we can already again with regular rebase um, perform the rebase now or we could if we were on a different branch, a feature would not be the checked out branch, we could go for this. But in this case, this will be enough. And here you go. We have commits A, B and C based on master and the feature branch and our commits X, Y and Z on the feature branch are up here. In this video, I have illustrated for you how you can rebase and drop a couple commits. I hope in case you run into the situation, you now know how to resolve it quite easily without a hassle. Thank you very much for watching and see you again.